that there. People, I don't know what's going down in the world these days or the way the way kids are evolving. I just I just I just don't get it no more. I just don't get it no more. <laughs> I mean, I used to teabag this shit out of everybody. Everybody. This makes me want to chop off my balls. What is going on? What is going on? So what's happened here is a guy by the name of one second, let me check my phone because you know what? We have to look because I got my notes on my phone paper. Matt G1 tweeted out saying, is that going to be backwards for you guys? I don't, I'm not even sure. All right. Read on me this. Is teabagging toxic? Now I'm reading this actually off my, uh, my OBS. Is teabagging toxic? One. Or two, is he morting on someone after you cure them toxic? Three, if you said yes to one, but not two, if Bungie made an emote that was the emotion of a teabag and you used it on someone after you killed them, is that toxic? Now you can answer this down below. All I know is whenever I play Destiny, 95% of the time I play PvP, I would get teabagged. I'd say good. 65% of the time after the matches, I'd receive a message saying, I love your videos, keep up the great work, sorry about the teabag. So to me, I look at it as more of a grab for attention. Like I killed DPJ or I killed more console or Dato, I'm going to teabag them. Not necessarily being toxic, but it does get their attention. It got my attention because I'd do that shit straight back. I'd be hunting, I'd be gunning for them. But a guy by the name of Peter S said, teabagging is pantomimed sexual abuse. End of conversation. Now the problem with this is guys, this Peter dude is Bungie's design lead. Figure that one out. <laughs> Figure that one out. What is going on? I just don't get it. I just, don't, I just don't get it. My head cannot process this shit. My head can't process this shit now. Now thinking about it, what he says is theoretically kind of correct. If you were to do it in real life, I guess you are doing the action of dropping your soul to But it's a game that's been going around for years. And when you put it in the same sentence as sexual abuse coming from a game, I mean, I probably have to cut the video there, guys, because I my, my head in my hands for about 30 seconds. You can't compare that to sexual assault or sexual abuse, two in the same thing. Teabagging in the game, I understand if you're running around the streets, knocking people out and then jumping on their faces. But this is a game. Imagine if you're a person has fell victim to sexual assault. How is this going to make you feel? Because I know if that was me, I wouldn't be very happy comparing an action that's been around in games, which in my opinion represents when you get the, the out on somebody. When you get the win over somebody and you do it in a, t a good fashion. I mean, nowadays you can kill somebody in PvP and they hate you, they teabag you anyway. But back in my day, you teabag somebody or just teabag in general when you're doing something good. Okay, 360 quick scope for the kill cam or something like that. Then you start teabagging. But it's a gesturing game. <laughs> It's a gesturing game. The two are not comparable. They're not comparable. This guy, this poor dude, what was his name again? Where's my note? Oh shit, I've lost it. Let's go back. Mac, Mac ticks. I mean, it's just making a conversation about teabagging in game in general. It's not talking about someone running around the streets doing it. What's going down with people? And he just writes teabagging is pantomime sexual abuse. Pantomime sexual abuse. End of conversation.
I don't know whose attention is trying to get by saying that. But to me, it's come off kind of wrong. Again, if we seriously think about it, theoretically thinking about it, teabagging in real life. Yeah, that's bad. That's very bad. Well, uh, in a game, you ain't like you run around your balls out. Now, I understand it does come down to context and his context, uh, but being a boundary design lead, we need more context in what it means here. Because comparing the two is frightening, in my opinion. Because if you're a person that's been sexually abused, surely that's going to be so crushing for sure. Comparing that to a gesture in a game, which represents you suck, I kicked your ass, is wild in my opinion. Wild in my opinion. So I just don't get it, people. I just don't get it, people. Now, I wasn't even going to make a video on this. I weren't going to make a video on this, but there's nothing to make a video on these days. Not until new games come out. And someone hit me up on my Discord showcasing this to me, and I'm thinking, why not? Why not just do something, talk about this shit? Now, like I said, it, it's all. this is all down to context. Some people will take this the wrong way. I, when I first looked at this, I took this kind of the wrong way. But like I said, this is all how you... Uh, Take his words. It's the context around his tweet. Teabagging is pantomimed sexual abuse. End of conversation. It, it's just context. It really is. I don't think he means anything bad by it. Please don't go over to his Twitter and murder him or anything like that. It just needs to be more aware of Bungie Design Lead. He needs to be more of a, aware of what he's done, his actions. I mean, if there's somebody else, people. If, this is, if I tweeted this, one of a big content creator, they're getting cancelled. It's the way it works these days. That is the way it works these days. But yeah, I mean, I replied to this dude, this Mat, uh, Mattix G1, and I said when I played D2 uh, or D1 for the most part, I get T-Bag more or less every game. And then, like I said, I'd receive a message and see people saying they love my videos, keep up the good work, sorry about the T-Bag, just wanted to get your attention, this, that, and the other. That's what I saw. That's what I thought. I never in a million years would have thought anyone thought that teabagging is even uh, close to sexual abuse. I mean, I just, I don't understand how someone could even put them two in the same sentence. It says end of conversation, but Jesus, I don't even know where that conversation started because that's a wild one. That is a wild one in my opinion. But you know what? I don't think it's that serious. But uh, yeah, even still, comparing the two, something so destructive as, as sexual abuse is pretty bad. In fact, it's super bad. It's ridiculously bad. And comparing that to a gesturing game, which represents to me, I shit on you. <laughs> well, not theoretically, or kind of, depends on you, the way you like to see bag. But yeah, it's, it's, I just don't get people. But let me know your opinion on this down below within that comment section. If I'm in the wrong, if I'm reading this wrong, please let me know because I like to learn from this kind of shit. Um, but well, let me know your opinion on teabagging down below. I think this guy's right. Fair enough. Let me know that too. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next one.